Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've been receiving a lot of inquiries about our ECU tunes and most commonly asked, how do you take out the ECU from the Sea-Doo Spark? So I thought I'd just make a quick video today and kind of condense it all into one video for you just to show you that it is extremely easy and you can do it from home. Now, personally, I prefer to just take the top deck off so then you can uh, kind of look in the engine bay, see if there's anything in there that doesn't belong. So if you guys are unsure on how to take the top deck off as well, you can click up here or the video link will be in the description too. So then you can watch and see if that's also something you wanna do as well. But like I said, it's not necessary guys. You don't have to take the top deck off. It just makes it a hell of a lot easier. So let's head on out to the warehouse now and grab some footage and show you how easy it really is guys. As I mentioned, if you're doing it with the top deck on, you're going to have to take this side flap off and disconnect the electrical connector here as well. Uh, but for the purpose of today's video, we're going to take the top deck off. If you do decide to leave it on, just have a look and try and navigate for this ECU on top of the airbox and uh, remove these three bolts located here, here and here. And just be careful not to drop them because good luck getting them back. Once you take off the bolts, you can remove the electrical connectors. The connectors here are quite tricky to remove if you haven't done it before, but it is quite easy. As you can see, you just push down onto the little tab there and then you can remove the plug from the ECU. Before I let you guys go, I'm just gonna run over a few frequently asked questions. Now, first question that I do get commonly asked is, is this safe? And our answer is, Absolutely. If you do decide to go back to the original tune, we're more than happy to revert it back to stock for you. Um, but yes, absolutely safe guys. We've done plenty of tunes on the ECUs now and we haven't had any dramas since. Next question is, will this work on the 60 horsepower models as well? And yes, it will. They all share the same engines with the Sparks. The only thing that holds it back is the software limitation. So we are able to unlock that and run it up to 90 horsepower. So even if you wanted to just leave it at 90, you're more than welcome to do that as well. We can do that for you too. And the next question I've received is, how long does this take? And uh, we usually will have the ECU for maybe a couple of hours, but if you are local, just come and drop it off and we'll have it done within the day. If you do need to get it sent to us, I highly recommend just taking the ECU out over the weekend, send it to us on Monday, and we should have it back to you before the weekend. If you do have any more questions about the ECU tunes, please let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys have. So yeah, that will wrap up today's video, guys. All the best and see you in the next one. Cheers.